All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, now this is um, from RTNews.com. It says scientists on verge of creating artificial vision, which could restore partial sight to the blind via brain implants. All right, and um, this is part of their agenda for the uh, the the fourth uh, industrial revolution. Okay, for the uh, transhumanist new world order in which they're trying to accomplish. All right, which in that, as as the uh, World Economic Forum chairman said, that they're not going to change the things, but they're going to change the, the people. You know, they're going to basically make people transhumanists, which is why they're introducing um, uh, merging technology with, with man in order to make things happen. All right. So now it says here, researchers at the Netherlands Institute of Neuroscience, ha and, and keep in mind, they're going to do it by what? Brain implants. All right. It says um, uh, that neuroscience uh, have achieved a major breakthrough, which could soon lead to partial restoration of sight to in blind people using a brain implant that stimulates their optical uh, cortex. All right. Which um, partial eventually becomes whole, you know, whatever they're trying to do, but they're trying to play the role of God. All right. It says the uh, the team's findings were published in uh, in Science on December third, and and ultimately what they want is for you to look at them as though they are the Most High, okay, and that way they can eliminate your you know basically your need for a higher power other than them. That's what their new order new world order is. They want you to look at them as though they are God and you are their you know creation. You know you you being a transhumanist is like you being born again in their new world all right it says in detail experiments involving two-sided uh monkeys with high resolution implants in their visual cort cortices the idea has been explored since the 1970s but current systems can only manage a resolution of a small number of artificial pixels in in the minds of the participants the nin team led by uh peter uh Royals Rolfsima capitalized on recent innovations in implant production and microelectronics, as well as new cutting-edge material uh, materials science, to achieve what they claim is a hitherto unheard-of level of artificial vision. And this is all by way of implants. They're they're they're, they're merging man and machine. All right, and it's all by way of implanting, implanting, implanting biotech. You know. That's, that's, that's what they're doing, man. So it says the NIN team, let, and this is all what? Prophecy. All right. It was prophesied that, that you know, in this age, this is where they will try to take life. All right. And that's why the Lord is going to intervene because now they're overstepping their boundaries. Okay. There was no other empire or nation that ruled that tried to take it this far. It says the NIN team led by, uh, read that already. The number of electrodes that we have implanted in the visual cortex and the number of artificial pixels that we can generate to produce high resolution artificial images is unprecedented. Um, Royal Sima uh, said the team developed high resolution brain implants, which bypass the retinas and optical nerves consisting of 1024 electrodes, which can recognize artificially induced shapes and uh, percepts. Um, electrical stimulation via the implanted electrode can trigger the perception of a dot of light in a given location in physical space in front of the user, in this case, in the two, uh, the two monkeys. So basically they're using this, you know, sort of like, uh, how a, a phone can use a camera lens, you know, it doesn't really have eyes, but it's sort of like having eyes. Okay. So if you're, if you're, um, your your optical nerves are not working right, all right. You know how your retina and your optical nerves work together to transfer information from your uh from you know what you're seeing into your brain to perceive it. Then they're trying to find a way to bypass that, you know, to where, however they're gonna do it, you know, this is gonna be like a a a, a different route to still transfer that information to your brain so that you can you can uh, uh perceive what's in front of you. 
all right, which is uh, unnatural. Okay, now with this technology, they always push it through uh, uh, so-called benefits. We're doing this in the name of science, in the name of healing people, in the name of, you know, bettering humanity. But what about all the other things you can do with this technology? Once you've, once you've broken the barrier of merging man and machine, now what? You know, now what? You, you broke the barrier using the excuse that you're going to do it to help people. But how many things have they said like that and it ends up doing worse, more damage than good? All right. Or just leads to more or uh, more control for them. All right. Um, all right. It says the monkeys were then tested to measure their eye movements in response to electrical stimuli from a single electrode in which they would point out the locations of the... Um, Phosphonies, a luminous um, image typically produced by stimulating the retina with their gaze. Next, the animals uh, were tasked with tracking move, moving uh, phos phosphines gen uh, generated via a sequence of electrodes before moving on to letter and shape selection tasks uh, of increasing co uh, complexity and difficulty. So, you know, they tested on these animals, see how it works, and then they do human testing and then eventually... They, they bring it out. Uh, says the monkeys were successful in identifying induced lines, moving dots, and letters using their artificial vision. The, uh, the system shows major promise for blind people who have suffered injury or degeneration of the retina, eye, or optic nerve, but whose visual cortex, uh, cortex remains intact, researching uh, uh, Xing Cheng explained. Once again, this is all them... They're, they're overstepping their boundaries. You see, in the ancient world, this will all be in the power of the Lord. And it was understood. Okay, but now, if, you know, they're trying to take that power into their hands to where now if something happens this way, oh, no, we can fix it. You know, if it happens this way, oh, no, we have the power to do this and do this and that and the third. But really, you don't. Because the most High is about to destroy this place. All right, but along with all your stupid technology. Who do you think gave you the, uh, the information to advance your technology to this level, all right. You know, is this 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 is the creator of the eye not good at his job to where you need to come and fix it? You know, if the Most High blinded you, then he blinded you. <laughs> it's not that he can't. You know, he made an error, or he can't give you your sight. Nah, if he blinded you, it's not because it was an accident. It was deliberate. You know, so you're basically trying to go against the will of the Lord. You know, and they're trying to do it in the so-called name of good faith. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, it's to heal the blind, and the most I wants the blind heal, he's going to heal the blind. All right? If not, then regardless of how much technology you use, it's not going to work. <laughs> it says the NIN team claims it is a major stepping stone towards a neural prosthetic device, which could one day restore functional vision to the blind, allowing for everything from object recognition to navigation of unfamiliar surroundings, affording an entirely new degree of independence and self-sufficiency uh, to the blind, all right, which, uh, you know, it's all going to be linked to that chip, all right, if they do get this far, you know, which mo most of the time when they come out with these articles, they're already further than they're letting on, you know, but it's all going to work in, in tandem with that chip, man, okay, if you want to be a part of this new society where all these things are possible, you know, you got to join the B system, now this is the book of Revelation chapter 13, Verse 13, it says, And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven and uh, on the earth in the sight of men. And that was one, all right, of, of the, the so-called wonders. But there's many others. When you look up the word wonders, um, it says, some uh, Samaon, it says, A sign, mark, token, a sign, prodigy, portent, i.e., an unusual occurrence, transcending the common course of nature. Meaning what? Uh, surpassing the common course of nature. All right, going above and beyond. So a co the common course of nature, if, 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 you, if you're born blind or something happens and you lose your sight, that's just how it's going to be, unless the Lord decides to restore it by some miracle. But other than that, the common course of nature, you, you lose your sight. Like, your sight is gone. All right, but they're trying to basically go against what's natural. You know, the, 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 um, the, their trailer for the economic forum is that you know they want to get to a point where you don't even you can't even recognize all right 
yourself as a human being. You're going to be more than that. You're going to forget what it's like to be, quote unquote, nat just a natural being. What kind of madness is that? You know, but this is what they're trying to do, man. And that's why the Lord said, let's get that real quick. All right. In the book of Malachi, chapter one, verse four it says, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will uh, return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. All right. Because they're really trying the Lord right now. OK. And whatever you build, whatever you try to accomplish, whatever you try to, you know, reach, you trying to build your new world order and set things up. The Most High is going to throw it down and destroy it, man. All right. And that's going to be a beautiful thing because this place is out of control. Anyway, with that, I hope you were edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.